the first people who lived here named themselves. Across the continent in hundreds of languages, the word for people, or the first people, was what they used. Or the this of the 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 wife under the 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 why 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 Other people existed to trade and talk and fight with, but the continent was vast and travel slow. There were no horses and wouldn't be for millennia. No group could know all the others, so there was no single name for all. Then, from across the sea, came a new other people, who brought with them great and terrible things. They, too, had a name for themselves in their own language, but they also brought a name for the first people Indians. We err in the future from this past, and you in the future from me present, possibly the far future. And the word Indian may have just made you uncomfortable. So let's talk about words. Words are what we make them. I air what? We need be need be vacant. They air. They air vacant. They air. Without the words surrounding them, without brains to interpret them, words air but whispers of wind. It's a word's utility to the speaker and the reaction of the listener that causes words to be born and to live and to de. Long after its first use in the New World, the early British and American empires needed a word to collectively describe the first people. And Indian, despite its confused origins, was that word. As the empires expanded, there was terrible conflict. The first people found themselves decimated and scattered. Many forcibly moved to reservations, land unknown with others unknown, needing to act as one new group to survive, to hold on to any sovereignty. As the world progressed from horses to steam to electricity, the nature of conflict changed. Fewer guns and germs, more mines and laws. But the first people were now often a minority in the land, while also a multiplicity of groups. For comparison, there were about 200 countries in the world. Within the United States, the reservations number more than 300. Within and without those areas of special sovereignty, there are more than 500 federally recognized tribes, each with a different name. To win the minds of the majority, to get laws securing sovereignty, hundreds of different names for different groups is not helpful. A collective name, born clear in the minds of the majority, was needed. A name useful for unity. In the time of civil rights, American Indians, shortened to Indians, was, despite its confused origins, that name. Four words ere what we make them, and we can unmake them. 
as i write this script looking at the past and toward you in the future i will bet that future history will unmake indian in favor of native american or something else you know if this has happened but here as part of working on this series i've traveled to many reservations to see them and to talk to the people who live in them on reservations the word indian is still used without hesitation or negative connotation used as identity not universally but near it you like me may be surprised to hear that given the words confused origins but words are what we make them and indians have made the word theirs now as for native american while preferred by some there exists in others a strong dislike and resentment of the name while the said for profanization then the word created to explain this dislike was passed on to me and the only way to explain fully is to pass it on to you so the dislike comes from over inclusivity i know i know i know but let's stay thoughtful and examine what this word was created to communicate for at least three hundred years indian has met the first people in this part of the world separated at first but thrust into a shared history it is clear it is sharp the word native american less so it can include everyone from the top to bottom of two continents a vast number of different cultures and current day goals and concerns Bamber. the histories of north central and south america are as divergent as the histories of asia europe and africa to call a person from here here or here a native afro eurasian would be so over inclusive as to make it difficult for that human to strongly identify with or rally others under so it goes for native american additionally it can feel like yet another thing forced from the outside talking to people about this project over the last five years revealed a strong correlation the closer a person had ever been to a reservation the more likely they would use indian the farther the more likely they would use the word native american and that's understandable is indian okay maybe but native american want to be wrong and it's useful to express concern and sensitivity as an outsider but this creates an unstable balance between insider and outsider use of a word as such uh, i use 
I am the honor. All I do to do I do stories a week. I do do and all way to follow. If the majority hesitates over a word, it slides into uncomfortability or worse. If the majority decides a word is unacceptable, so it becomes. Groups should be able to name themselves, but when they re small, they often can't. The word used to describe themselves, outsiders, through sheer numbers, redefine. At the time of writing, this is happening to Indian. But the leading replacement is not as universally well regarded inside reservations as those outside may expect. As we will talk about, many things have been given to the first people. Promises and rights and lands. Only once used and adopted by them to be taken away. So it may go again. Thus, this series will use American Indian or Indian for three main reasons. One, the word is clear in geography and history. Limited to the first people of what is now the continental United States. Two, the tribal governments and the United States government use Indian. The Bureau of Indian Affairs, staffed by Indians, which mediates between the two governments, also uses Indian. To call governments and departments and laws by names other than what they are would be pointlessly confusing. 3. At the time of writing, Indian is used by Indians on Indian reservations to describe themselves. Okay. We re well past that point where you hear a word so many times, it starts to become meaningless. Fun fact, there's a word for that. Semantic satiation. Okay, semantic Delightfully alliterative and will cause itself, but I leave that as an exercise to the viewer. This has been 1300 words in an attempt to explain one. That's complete. We can now move on to the next part.